Hello and welcome to this question on rounding. You'll notice we aren't allowed to use a calculator for this, but never mind, we'll just have to make the best of it. Okay, so write 3.2345 correct to two decimal places. So this doesn't look too bad. The first thing is to find the last digit. So we want two decimal places, so that's going to be one, two, this three here, so I'll circle that. The next digit is the decider, and remember that tells us whether to round up or not. It's less than or equal to four, so we keep the three, and that means our answer is 3.23. Okay, moving on to part B. Estimate the answer to the following calculation. Show the values you use. Right, so to estimate, I'm just going to round these numbers to one significant figure. So starting with the 29, write that down. Okay, so for each of these, the last digit is going to be the first significant figure. So here it's two. The decider is nine, so we round two up to three. But we've still got a gap here before the decimal point, if you imagine that going there. So we need to fill that in with a zero and we get 30. Okay, 11.44. Again, this is the last digit. The decider is one, so we keep our one. And again, we've got a gap to fill in, so we add a zero to get 10. Lastly, 0 0.48. This time we've got a zero at the start, so we ignore that and hop along to the four. So that's our last digit. The decider is eight, so that means we round up and we get 0 0.5. And there's no need to add any extra zeros this time. Okay, so now I just need to put these numbers into this calculation. So the top line becomes 30. And the bottom line is 10 times 0 0.5. So that's 30. And this is just times by 10, so we can move the decimal point. And we get 5. So that's 30 divided by 5 which is six. And so six is our answer. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the marks. There are two available. So you get the first mark for rounding at least two of these numbers correctly. So that's this line here. And you'd get the second mark for doing the calculation and getting the right answer. Okay, so that was a lovely question on rounding and estimating featuring one significant finger.